A dangerous thrill-seeking behavior is wrecking havoc in the lives of young people in Nigeria. Arguments, violence, and even death are just a few of the consequences. Because it's online, it's there, and anything on the internet, <laughs> you, you, you hardly will be able to control it. Researches even show that Nigeria is coming second in Africa. Psychologists say the odds are stacked high against people looking to hit the jackpot with sports betting. Romanu Doda is a 40-year-old man who began sports betting in early 2022. He believes he has perfected the art, booking bets on his mobile phone. Every day, he has high hopes of winning, but most times, he loses. Yet, he believes he will win tomorrow. Undeterred by his losses, he strongly holds onto a dream of winning the jackpot. And so every day, he walks into a betting shop to try his luck. He doesn't mind using his last cobble to place the next bet. I feel bad, especially in soccer, when maybe you stake on like 15 games, 15 teams, and one just end up cutting it. It's so painful. But why I don't feel that bad that much is because sometimes I am the type who is very kind of um, limited in how I stake my money. So the highest taking I've done in that sporty bet is uh, 800 Naira. Yeah, so normally my bet just go range of 100, 200. So possible return of maybe 50, 40. So if it, does, if it didn't come, I just take it as cool. So I always watch what I stake so that to do the damage control. As time goes on, I began to observe video and sometimes Maybe when, you, when I go there, like, okay, that, ah, I, need, I have 2,000, I need to add this money up, and I'll, at the end, I'll go and lose that money again. So sometimes I just feel, ah, I didn't been, I didn't been, I know I should have just used the one I'm having, not to go and say I want to get more. So it does come with mis, um, mixed feeling. Yeah. For Romanu, betting has become a lifestyle, an occupation which keeps him going. As he hopes for better days, he continues to lose. Yet, it has never occurred to him to quit on this dream. I, I know those who have made money, who have won money, who build house from it, who, who, who bought car from it. Yes, I know friends close to me who in short, what, what they use in furnishing their room is what they gain from there. And they've not lose what they've gotten from that place. Yes, it's just what you use, what you set your mind for, your determination. My kind of uh, belief or understanding is I always see it as uh, a gambler is always a loser. So if you bet, uh, to me, anytime I bet or anytime I stake my money, I just believe as it's not something money I think I want to use urgently i just like okay let me try because at first i don't put my mind as if i'm expecting i just believe I, I, because i'm not sure of the outcome i'm just predicting i came to a place with as much as uh, fifty thousand. have lose 10 lose another 10 lose another 10 i'm um, together thirty thousand. i see out twenty thousand. i should just walk away but you see them keep going going so i don't blame it on the uh, 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 on the betting they are playing i blame it on them because if it's not betting which means if it is another aspect of, of life sports betting isn't a new phenomenon in nigeria in the old days gamblers were often ostracized by society culturally they were seen as deviants but the internet has now made it easy for people to cast their bets away from the judgmental glare of traditionalists. Mobile devices mean gamblers can now bet in privacy. More privacy means more risk taking and more gambling, a vicious circle. Today, 
you can find betting cures on almost every street across the corner. Everybody is eager to make this money and you don't need to ask person how did he make his money. He may not know who, who, who has the lock inside those swans that have not started playing it. Maybe in the first place, you that have not started playing, you start it in the, the first day that you start playing this thing, maybe you, you win a huge amount of money that will change the, your entire family life. But to me now, I cannot advise anybody. I cannot even say anything to them because if you say they should not play, definitely they will play. Because there are some people that know how to predict. Even those who have not started playing, there are some people that don't play, but they predict and give it out to people. The numbers of times that I have played and lost, if you actually calculate it today, the loss is over 75% ahead of the winning. So, and if you check the amount for since I've started playing it, the amount that I use in playing this game, if you calculate it up to this moment that I'm talking to you, it's not up to the amount that I've won. The sports betting industry in Nigeria boomed in the late 2000s. The establishment of the National Lottery Commission gave gamblers legal respite. Slowly but surely, the dark side of sports betting revealed itself. There's a certain time that I went to play that game. I have almost 30 something thousand in my pocket. I said, let me just go and try so that I will add up the money. I went there, they, they finished up that money. I have to give them my phone because I play other ones thinking that that one that I play will come. They later end everything the same way. They are not give them my phone. They have the money to go and collect my phone back. You feel as if you should go, just go and hug Transoma because that is the only thing you are having with you. And you just went and dash people that did not do anything for you. You feel bad. You don't have any option to eat. You don't have anywhere to go to. You cannot go and pay for food for credit. And your last guy, you went and played Ben and Jaw with it and they eat. You cannot go back there and then they will not give you now. There is nothing. You cannot do anything because you are the one that, that take yourself. Lose your money. I promise you, you lose that money. So better things for you to better still keep the money, find other money, add to the money, do whatever you want to do with the money. Because if you take it to bet my jazz shop or any betting shop that, oh, let me go and double this money and make my money. I swear to God, you, I promise you, you lose it. Nigeria has been battling unemployment and extreme poverty levels. These are factors contributing to the increase in social vices and criminality. People look at it for the benefits and um, when they don't get it, they are hopeful and so they keep on investing in it, uh, hoping that uh, they will one day be able to benefit, regardless of the consequences on their personality and on their pockets. And um, in Nigeria specifically, uh, one of the things that people get involved in in gambling is betting especially sports betting and online betting. And this is common among youths and middle-aged individuals. There is the financial benefit which they derive from it. And that is basically the, the issue with betting. And um, I believe it has to do with poverty too, when people want free money for what they have not worked for. And um, research shows that it's a, a Nigeria is one of the three major countries in Africa with heavy statistics of people into betting. And people go into it basically to have free money out of curiosity, out of a desire, a longing to have money, which is the reward, regardless of the consequences on their pockets. 
and on their health. Many turn to gambling as a way out of poverty. In some local communities, people go as far as putting up their rent money for sports betting. It was a time I want to pay my house rent worth 150,000. Then I have 100. I just think I should play. Maybe I can add up the money then. Possibility, I lose all the money. And the, the, just the, what I just seen in the bed ninja is that is when you lose your last cash, that is when uncle will start cashing you. When I played that bed ninja, when I lost my, my house rent on 100k, I was very so stranded and I'm not even happy at all throughout the month before I get another money. So many Nigerians are struggling for a better life. Many more are willing to do whatever it takes to earn a living. Interestingly, you'll find most sports betting shops in working class and poor neighborhoods. Betting kiosks do not litter upscale neighborhoods. With companies raking in millions on a daily basis, how does the sport betting business work? One manager of a betting shop in Abuja is worried about the toll of gambling and sports betting. Over 300 people come into his shop every day to bet away their earnings. Same people for like two, three years now, they have not won anything, but they, see, they keep coming. Why? Because they believe, yes, I'm still going to win. Yes, I'm still going to win. Or maybe they, when they hear the story of someone who won, like this guy I paid two point something million now, the news is all over. Ah, someone, like, yes, I, I, I won't give up. I won't give up. I won't give up. That is just how it works. And like other people winning and motivates, you now my own time is going to come. So it's as if, if I stop now, I'm done losing. So why not just continue that? Because I believe one day I'm going to I'm going to be there. So that just how it's. I have I know someone that for like two three years now they've not won anything, and I have, I know some people that every day they see cash out. There are millions of people betting. There are millions of people. There are millions of people are wasting every day. So if you lose, it shifts to people win. That's how it works. So it's either you play to win or you play to draw or you play. Out. It's, it's three options. There are so many options, but the the major one people play is to win, home to win, or away to win, or to play draw. Sports betting brands have become household names in Nigeria. The most popular ones are football betting sites. Hey, football, we all watch. They mind you, the Chelsea, the Arsenal. This is live. So you see that it's going to predict. There's a virtual aspect, which is a computerized game. You bet, and in the next like three, four minutes, the result is out. Unlike the live bet, I have to wait for 90 minutes and from certain time, extra time before you see the result. But the virtual bet, as you are betting, as you are taking your money, so this, this, it's where you watch, where you watch, where you, where you, where, where you stake. So in like five, three, three, four minutes max, the result is out. If you win, you know you win. If you lose, you know you lose. But the sport aspect, this is live bet. So we have to wait for like 90 minutes and some extra minutes before you, you know what comes out. Although there's an age restriction of 18 years and above, many underage people slip in and the shops are happy to collect their money and look the other way. It's not happy to the society because sometimes you even see some places, people under age that don't know anything that is not up to 18 years, you will see them playing bets and they are eager. And if you are not up to age, you can do otherwise to make money, to get money to go and book that game. Anything now, anything that is, anybody that is not above 18 years shouldn't bet. You understand? Because somebody is above 18 years, at least he have thinking, he can think wisely. But anybody is below 18 years, you know, the child, the child thinking is still with him. You understand? Because any, any little child that doesn't think wisely, he might use his school fees, might use his mother's money or his daddy's money to go and place bet because he's still under age. <coughs> you understand? But an adult, at least, if you are having like maybe one five at hand, maybe if you will stick 1,000 years, you can be able to economize the 500 years that is left. You understand? Because 
best in the thunder, it's not a guarantee that you must want. It's just in some of try or luck. With just a smartphone, one can bet easily in Nigeria even if you're under 18 years of age. Nigeria's population is exploding with young people. The average age in a country of over 200 million people is 18 years old. Generation Z in Nigeria are well versed in the use of technology. But almost every young person having access to a smartphone in Nigeria. The situation of 2005, the commission was primarily born out of the need to regulate the operations of lottery businesses, promote transparency and accountability, and to protect the interests of players, stakeholders, and members of the public. But whose interest are they serving? There are so many unanswered questions at the moment. We reached out to the Commission's Director General for reactions, but received no response. Okay, leave me. No time to say they come. Okay, I don't chop you. Leave me alone. Ah. Okay, they don't chop you. One thousand. I know how much they don't chop you. I know you don't want to. I chop, chop. Leave me. You want the one thousand? I don't get that. The psychological impact of betting has taken a toll on many people in the country. Samuel Odekoya, an engineering student, was a gambler but also a victim of circumstances. Instead of a life of debt and shame, he chose suicide. People commit crime in order to get the money to go and do betting. Betting or gambling is like drug addiction. You, you, you feel it's a compulsive disorder, which is a psychological problem in which the individual now wants to satisfy that urge, regardless of the... At that time, he's not even thinking of the consequences. All he wants is the end result of making more money. This is particularly common in developing countries because of poverty. A young person who is out of job or a school leaver or a graduate who doesn't have a job and who needs money will want to try his hand on some other things. He may not want to go into crime because he sees betting as, well, something mild, but before he knows it, he's neck deep into it because of the consequence on the brain, a shift in the brain functioning that deceives him, thinking that, oh, I will make it one day, I will make it one day, let me continue to try. Nigerian government, even though there's a, a, a law in Nigeria on gambling, is it being uh, adequately monitored, the implementation? Just like you said, particularly at the local levels. The story of sports betting in Nigeria is one of false hope a never-ending game of loss. In this vicious circle of anxiety and criminality, will the stakes ever be high enough? Yet, gamblers keep going back for more, risking it all for an easy win that never comes.